there's one thing that can be said about this city, it's that it has a little something for everyone. People travel from all corners of the world to experience this unique combination of international culture and tropical climate. Food is a thing of beauty, fitness is a way of life, you'll never run out of things to do, and you'll never run out of things to see. And when it comes to photography, you can rest assured that every lens in your lineup will be basking in the abundance of soft fluffy clouds gushing with warm and sultry light. Hot sunny days, white sandy beaches, and beautiful magic hour glow. Welcome to the one and only Miami. Welcome to Miami. Now, the world of photography takes us to some strange and wonderful places, and this just so happens to be one of my all-time favorites. We've got amazing beaches, beautiful cityscapes, and a lot of work to do. So grab a Mai Tai, kick back, let's go see what we can find. Sand, sunlight, ocean. Let's be realistic. If you find yourself in Florida, there's a pretty good chance you're going to end up on one of its many world-renowned beaches. And when it comes to Miami, that can only mean one place, South Beach. Here we find a pristine layer of pearly sand which stretches away as far as the eye can see. On any given day, this coastline is a magnet for sun-worshipping tourists looking to accelerate the nuclear tanning effects of South Florida's abundant ultraviolet radiation. Yet, when we keep landscape photography hours, we find ourselves up before dawn, long before the arrival of ubiquitous sandcastle architects and rum-wielding beachgoers. Don't get me wrong, the tourists will rule the coastline soon enough, but for now, the pre-dawn light belongs to the camera. For the artist, there is no greater beauty than solitude. Throw in a sky full of clouds and a splash of light from the rising sun, and we have the makings of photographic magic. As the atmosphere takes on its signature warm glow, we are treated to a visual feast of ocean and sky. And as a bonus, we also have Miami's famous Art Deco lifeguard stands. These quirky little towers make for the perfect foreground element set before the backdrop of the mighty Atlantic Ocean. We let the sunrise do its work, and the camera sits down to a delicious breakfast of warm silky light spreading out across the sparkling Florida tides. This is it. Photography's dirty little secret. The key to all the magic light, all the amazing images that you've ever seen in your entire life. It all boils down to one thing. The 4 a.m. wake up call. The time of day on the entire hotel smells like farts. And all you wanna do Let's go back to bed. Oh. This is my buddy Dave. Dave has superhuman strength when it comes to staying out late for sunset, then blinking his eyes closed for a microsecond of sleep before getting up at the maddening hour of o dark 30 to prepare once again for sunrise. As long as Dave is around, we tend to find ourselves in all kinds of unusual locations, aiming our lenses at all kinds of never-before-seen perspectives. 
And as with most coastal cities, the beach is not the only place to catch a great sunrise. When we head inland, moving towards Biscayne Bay, we start to get a new perspective on the Miami skyline. The coastal waterways provide a glassy layer of color beneath the city as the clouds illuminate the horizon to the west. And where there is water, there are sure to be reflections. Given the right conditions, a good reflection can be the photographer's holy grail. Great light, calm seas, and a winning composition. Bring this little trifecta together beneath the shimmering skyline, and it's easy to see why Miami is one of America's most vibrant cities. For most photographers, the middle of the day is a time to put the camera away. The colorful morning magic hour is replaced by boring flat light, and the heat index turns Florida into a boiling sauna, the likes of which the devil himself would be right at home. In most places, this is a good time to go inside, beat the heat, grab a bite, read a book, take a nap, do any of the normal things that normal people do. Miami, however, is not most places. And for any photographer who is searching for new and interesting perspectives on this amazing city, there is no rest for the weary. Fortunately, pretty much no matter where you go, there is always something interesting happening to keep your sleep-deprived mind flush with excitement. Scouting locations for sunset often takes us off the beaten path. With all the tourists happily double-fisting Mai Tais on the beach, the photographer is free to go off in search of somewhat more nuanced locations. Because, after all, on any given day, sunset is only a few hours away, and it's time once again to make preparations for the fireworks. Au revoir. Au revoir. Evenings in Miami are a truly magical experience. But if we're being honest, facing off against the Florida sunset is no easy task. That angry ball of hydrogen in the sky, which creates the devil's sauna during the day, also happens to pump out an excessive amount of light in the evening. And while that light is quite beautiful, finding the right balance of nuclear clouds and city skyline can be a rather daunting challenge. We love to see amazing colors, but we don't want our cityscape having to compete with an overwhelming sky. Oftentimes, we find ourselves waiting for the light to become more subdued. And as the sun sets over the western horizon, the city lights come to life, creating that magical skyline that Miami is so famous for. Bridges, skyscrapers, city lights, busy streets. As night closes in and the last colors of sunset disappear from the horizon, the subtle tones of blue hour begin to take over. The glow of the city begins as a faint glimmer before slowly rising up to meet the night sky. Find yourself a nice bridge, stake out a sunset pier, or bring a unique architectural element into your composition. There's really no wrong way to go about blue hour because there's a little something special around every turn. And if you simply cannot decide, just post up along the waterfront. Crack into that trusty beer you've been hauling around all day and wait to be dazzled by the sublime beauty of a city that will never cease to amaze.
you visit Miami, chances are good that your hands will be gripping a pineapple that has been carved into a very effective cocktail delivery system. In any regard, I certainly recommend that you take a moment to look up from your boozy fruit beverage and enjoy the sights around you. You are in the midst of a crazy, wonderful city, a place where inspiration is waiting around every corner and magic hour light is hiding behind every cloud. Cue the epic bird flyby, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. Our Little Blue Planet is home to all kinds of amazing destinations, and I've had the privilege to produce photographic artwork for homes and businesses all across the nation. If you are interested in acquiring your own little piece of Mother Nature, every image which appears in this episode can be purchased from my website. So be sure to check out the link in the show notes below, and I look forward to providing your next fine art photograph. Mojito. So it's hard to believe that four days have literally flashed by in the blink of an eye, but it's time to go home. Fortunately, there is always another photo expedition right around the corner. So stay sharp and always remember, the camera will take you places you never imagined. Well, in Florida, there's death by a thousand mosquito bites. If one of those little blood-sucking monsters gets into your hotel room, you're, you're finished, you're in for it. I have 40,000 bug bites on my legs right now. <laughs> what is an acceptable number of times to visit Starbucks in a day? Welcome to Miami. I have no idea what I'm supposed to say. We're here more than we're shooting pictures. It's like we might as well shoot a landscape image of the Starbucks because that's what we're doing all the time. Gotta take time to refuel, baby. Now, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna get back on an airplane before I get run over by a car. In case you didn't know, the camera will take you places you never imagined. Oh my gosh, it's like the palm tree zombie apocalypse in here. Start us off. Miami. <laughs> What's up, Miami? All right, finally, here we go.